question, please stay on the line because in just a moment, you'll have the chance to leave a voicemail directly for Representatives Theringer and Vandy Wig with your questions, comments, or feedback. And they can follow up with you uh, on that uh, if you leave your voicemail and a way to get in touch with you. And always remember that they can be reached at their uh, telephone office numbers or uh, by email. So thanks again for joining tonight's conversation. And now I'm going to turn it over to Steve and Kevin for some final thoughts. Thanks, Greg. And just want to thank everybody for calling in. And we found that this is a pretty good way to reach a lot of folks. Obviously, it's, uh, we don't have enough time to take everybody's uh, questions. But hopefully, by the, listening to the answers we were able, the questions we were able to get to, you got a little bit of better understanding of some of the things we are working on. And, Certainly don't hesitate to contact my office and talk to my legislative assistant, Leanne Horn, or leave me an email, and we'll try to get back to you to deal with your issues. And uh, really, uh, I'm honored to represent you in the legislature, and I think this helps us in our communication with you. And it's Kevin Vanderweg. I'd also like to thank everybody for staying on the line and listening to our phone calls. I hope you found it useful. We find it useful. They're reaching our constituents. We'll certainly uh, be trying to do some uh, actual in-person town halls at some point this year, and I encourage you to stay on the line. If your question didn't get asked, uh, leave a message, and we will work on getting back to you. Thanks so much. The Teleforum has ended. Thank you again for participating in tonight's legislative telephone town hall. We're sorry Representatives Theringer and Vandewig couldn't get to everyone's question tonight, but please leave a voicemail at the prompt with any questions, comments, or concerns from tonight's discussion, and they'll be forwarded directly to your legislators. Thanks, and have a good evening. Hello. First of all, you took Helen's question. She was talking about the bees and everything dying and the pollution and the ge genetically modified stuff going on, and you said it was from fire retardant. Listen, the bees are dying because y'all are using Roundup, number one, on our forest. We have Fukushima radiation coming in, and we have persistent contrails that are, that are laying lines in our skies that are full of al aluminum, barium, and strontium. It took us, we had to scrape three feet of topsoil off just to get a, our garden pH right to get some of those substances out of our soil to grow a garden. My question was on the Grays Harbor Police Department and their revenue generating, which you never will take my calls. I've been in three of these, and never once have you took a call, and I've, I've waited. Um, the, what I wanted to talk about is the CAFRs. Their CAFRs show that 80% of their money comes through revenue generating, which means regardless of what you say, the police are already right. Like getting pulled over without wearing a seatbelt when you had one on, you can go fight it, but you're automatically wrong. The judges side with the judges, the police police the police. Now, something needs to be done about this. This isn't America. This isn't a free country anymore. You guys were trying to hopscotch around here and act like you're doing something, and you're not doing one damn thing but wanting more money from the citizens here. Um, and I want you to call me back and explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old. Like I said, I did read the CAFRs. I'd like to read the CAFRs of the state of Washington if there's any way you could send them to me. I'd like to know all the money you guys have. Here, I'll leave you my address or and my phone number. It's, it's uh, L-I-N-D-A S-I-L-E-R That's Linda Seiler. P.O. Box 1364, McClary, Washington, 98557. My phone number is 360-861-8531. You have not once got back in touch with me. I have s sat and listened to 30 minutes of this crap um, where you don't answer the questions. So I would appreciate you getting back in touch with me. And by the way, there is no grand... You can give your weapons to... Um, your children um, if, if you're about to pass away and if you think you're going to pass a law that says you can't people are going to do it anyway 
I mean, this is getting ridiculous. You guys, the, the more you're in office, the more rules you place on us, the less free we are. We want to live free. All of us are good people, but you legislatures and representatives, all you want to do is listen to your lobbyist and take freedoms away from us. We've had enough, and that's what the people out there wanted to say to you, but they were too polite. Goodbye.